Hey all, you're watching Beat TV. I'm Tegan and I'm on this lovely balcony with Jake from Blue Juice. How are you, Jake? Well. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, a little worse for wear on your album release day. Oh yeah, thank you. Uh, I am excited about it, but also a little bit hungover, hence the vomiting. Of course, the album is Company. It's got 12 delicious new tracks. Released today, it's had a bit of a build up. Are you kind of nervous about how it's going to be received to the general public? No, because we feel like we know how the general public will usually receive us. So I'm, no, I'm not nervous, I'm kind of like resigned to our fate <laughs> to some degree. And there's no point in being nervous because it's going to happen, you know what I mean? So I'm excited mostly. I hope people like it. A lot of similar sounds that we've heard from you guys before, a lot of disco synths, funky bass lines, it's very danceable, but people are kind of saying it's a little bit more of a mature release. Would you agree with that statement? I think in terms of writing and production, it definitely is, partially because we've gotten a lot better at what we're doing in studio and generally, uh, and also because the people who are doing stuff on it, like Alex Burnett and Julian from the presets, and, a few, and Thomas Rawl is a good guitar player, like all of those people are excellent at what they do, so if you draft them in to do stuff, they're just generally going to do a good job regardless. I was going to ask you about the collaborations. Like you said, Alex Barnett, of course, of Sparkadia and Julian from the presets helped pen a few of the songs on the album. How did those collaborations come about? Alex and I, who is here, probably a floor below us, I think. He copped the vomit just then. Yeah, he usually does. <laughs> He's a good friend just from being around Sydney. We were both close friends in bands, you know. With Julian, it was more just like I'd met him a fair few times and he's also a complete professional and a very nice guy and I just thought his type of thing would suit the type of song that we were doing and it went well. I mean we sort of went, in, went to his home studio, it was out in the garden of his house and you know he kind of sang into the mic a bit kind of like the presets and I was like whoa that's crazy that he's doing that and I'm right here and, uh, and then we sort of translated that into some words and put the chords in the right spot and made it a bit Joe jackson -y and that was it. Along with the whole maturity in the songwriting process, I can sense that there's a lot of kind of heartbreak in the album, particularly with songs like Shock, which Alex Bennett helped you out with, yeah, yeah. and Aspen, New York. That's right. There's just a bit of heartbreak in those songs. That's, uh, well observed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, even though it's on top of really danceable, upbeat melodies. So, what kind of went on with you guys? Is there a story behind that? Weirdly, <clears throat> it's funny, the record was being written over a period of about a year or so, and I I have been in and out of uh, quite probably my most serious relationship in my well, really the only real relationship I've kind of ever had. And you know, at the time of writing, I guess sort of, I guess sort of was starting to not really work out for whatever reason. And I guess I was obviously writing about that, but I didn't realise it was kind of about that. I thought it was a bit more general. You don't realise that you know what's happening at the time until later, I guess. Is it kind of good therapy for you then to get it out into a song? Yes, it, but. It, Good ther there's good therapy and there's good reality and you know it's like it's not a good reality to have broken up with a person I really loved a great deal and for that es essentially to be really my fault and also for her to have now moved to New York which is pretty heartbreaking for me. So it's a little bit bittersweet so you've lost Mostly someone bitter. you love but <laughs> you're having a hell of a good time now yay. Yeah oh no I am I don't want to look I don't want to depress anyone and blah blah I have a habit of doing that but um yeah, no, it's, look, songwriting is songwriting. Like, I love doing it because I love doing it. Um, and it's nice to have something genuine to write about. But I wouldn't court those experiences, or at least if I did, I've certainly learnt my lesson, you know what I mean? It's not fun um, having your relationship fuck up. And, and this lifestyle, although it's great, you have to then totally go for that, not for, for relationships, if, if that's what you're going for, you know? And uh, I kind of wish that I had, hadn't totally gone for the music thing, but I'm glad that I did because I love music. It's just a, it's not a warm environment all the time. <laughs> yeah. You've just been announced on the Big Day Out lineup for next year. Last time you played was in 2010. At Splendor this year, you had an amazing set with some glow in the dark suits and heaps of awesome stage antics. Is it yeah, going to yeah. be similar to that? Well, with that production, the show that you saw at Splendor was a dry run for this festival season. So we will be doing that, basically that exact show for Big Day Out. All that production cost a whole lot of money. Like, 
so much money. We're obviously going to use it again because you don't spend 20 grand on something and then throw it away. Uh, it must be rolling in it, just quietly. No, no I'm joking. It was our whole fee for that gig. We were like, they thank you, Splendor. Here you go, production costs. So we're taking, we're traveling all of those projections plus making a few more, and we're going to use the same um, HD projector, which is like what they use on the Opera House for that Vivid Festival. It's like a fucking powerful color projector. I want to kind of make the um, staging of the show a little more in the way of the projection, so a lot of that bleeds over the costumes. Thanks so much for chatting to us today, Jake. Thank you. I'm Tegan, you're watching Beat TV. Jake from Blue Juice.